Good morning and welcome back for your daily tarot, spiritual growth tarot with a little bit of astrology. This one's for Wednesday, September 13th. At 4 a.m. we have the moon, you can see right here the Virgo moon, exactly opposing uh, Saturn. So there's a lot of ways this can play out. It could be that there are, because the moon is inching, you know, degree every hour closer together with uh, Mercury. So this could be, because the moon rules the public, we could be getting quite a bit of news dumps this day. Could wake up with a lot of new info. Or the, uh, no, I think it's more like new info when it comes to, because that's an early degree on uh, Virgo moon. But, well, actually, because the sun is at 20 degrees Virgo, I mean, we've got this Virgo stellium here, and there, that's a whole lot of facts and information and details. So with the sun at that later degree, we, it could be old information, but now we know more about it in a new way, if that makes sense. But for us personally, I was feeling into this chart looking at it and going, oh, <laughs> The simple message with this has to do with knowing that our beliefs organize our reality. And to not believe that uh, puts us in a precarious position when it comes to uh, building a strong spiritual foundation. And that's further reiterated here by the sun in this opposition. So over the next week, we're going to have many opportunities to... Um, to get in touch with how powerful we are in creating our reality. Now it's important to remember that um, we're not perfect. Nothing's perfect uh, uh, on earth. We're perfect inside, right? We're, I mean, we're perfect in our spirits, but we have our soul substance that uh, may not be. <laughs> and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I, we, we need to surrender to just being utterly human and things will all work out. But there is some fast moving energy for today. That is for sure. The swords are all about communication, but the uh, knights are fire. So this is a combination of air and fire. Now those two elements work very, very well together, don't they? So there's something there. I believe there's going to be something coming out today. Um, but Oh, okay. So I, I do feel like there's something politically happening where people are on the, this like bed of nails because all this information's coming out. And look at that, Mercury, this card is Mercury and Virgo. Mercury rule, <laughs> Mercury in the sign of Virgo, and that's what's going on. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is just finish this and then reshuffle because this is definitely politically, and I'm gonna reshuffle for just us. I, yeah, with the moon coming through reverse, clarity. There's some new news is going to come out that uh, pulls the wool off of a lot of people's eyes, I think. Uh, when we have the moon reversed, there are secrets that come out. And it might be that uh, fears are being released. So that's interesting. Okay, so let me, let me just put these back in and then reshuffle. So I, I, I get the feeling that something's coming out and we're going to uh, be a whole lot less afraid of the future politically because of, you know, some new bombshells. More indictments, please. Something that puts us, these people away. How about getting rid of Citizens United? Okay, and then for us, we have the Queen of Wands, more self-confidence, connected to our intuition in a really optimistic way, trusting life, understanding that life is for you. Even if things don't move so quickly today, that's okay. We don't need things to go too fast, do we? <laughs> I think there's going to be enough going on in the outer world moving very quickly, and it's good to have our lives slow down quite a little bit. Oh, and then with the sun reversed, yeah. I, I think we're feeling the, uh, the end of summer coming. 
and we're starting to regroup and come back more to you know to ourselves to our own just very natural uh, you know passionate confidence where you're passionate about your own life you you have your pets we i mean we have all these things in our lives that we love and um, that's more than enough and we definitely want things to be more simple and if all of our projects aren't hitting the ground right now because it's the end of summertime and we're regrouping in a new way. You know, the autumn, uh, first day of autumn's coming up soon. It won't, it'll be here before we know it. So, yeah. Now, on another level, someone out there could be feeling very confident because they've finally gotten inside of the energy that keeps them feeling a little down. Now, if you've been going through any healing process, like if you've, if you've been meeting the pain of your unmet real needs that, you know, that went unmet in childhood, uh, which has been, you know, over the years causing you to some, you know, just somehow little bits here and there in different ways numb out. And uh, because that's what we do as kids, we do that in order to survive, you know. If we don't have those real needs of love and safety and comfort and connection and to be seen and heard and understood, that's especially true with the Queen of Wands, um, you know, because she's so much about self-expression. Uh, so if we don't meet the pain of that as adults and process it through, then we stay stuck and we keep reaching out for these substitute type of needs. Uh, which create this like vicious circles of addiction. So to break those vicious circles, we have to get in touch with the real pain and understand the real needs. And that might be what's happening here with, um, you know, with the Eight of Wands reversed because something's not hitting the ground, things aren't going as fast. But I think that that's just fine. There can be a little bit of a delay, and maybe there's some frustration, especially if you've been dealing with a health issue, but. You know, life goes on and you you will eventually resolve it. Just know when it comes to meeting the real needs as an adult, all you need to know is what those real needs are. So just remember, you need love in your life. You need your self-love. You need to give love, be able to receive love. You need to create a stable safety, uh, you know, in a safe and stable environment. And then with as much comfort as, as you as you can without being, you know, too lazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then connection with others where you do feel safe being seen and heard and they want to understand you. Uh, so you just need to know what those are. And then the other thing is to what I'm getting with this, um, uh, the sun card reversed is that to expect depression during your healing, that that is very, very normal. And it is not a delay. It's, you know, you're, if we're thinking that life can be like the Queen of Wands upright every day of the year, I mean, that's just not reality on Earth. Inside of the core of who we are, we always have our intuition and that passionate life force that is very self-confident. But as humans, we go through periods of not, not feeling that way. And when we are in that, what's happening is that something's coming up from the past, either our childhoods, young adulthoods, last week, whatever, <laughs> something that we haven't processed through, and it could be past lifetimes. There's something that comes up that seems to put us, you know, drags us back to the past. But if you can stay in your own natural optimistic self, if you can uh, remember your strength, remember your independence, remember your autonomy, remember your individual unique essence, then, you know, and have, have a lot of fun like going back home to yourself then everything else turns around. And the depression is, uh, you know, it's really hard to mess up the star card anyway, so not even to really worry about it. But uh, when, it, when it comes to uh, depression, it's, it, it will go, it, it will leave. You know, unless you have a clinically, you know, if there's something going on clinically, but you know, with a brain um, chemistry imbalance. 
but you know I'm, I'm not the doctor to help you with that <laughs> not at all um, but if there's any self-doubt coming through best to just because maybe things aren't happening as fast as you want best thing to do is just to keep coming back home into what you are the most passionate about that makes you feel alive within that nurtures your intuition because that is what it's all about the more we feel connected to our, our deepest intuition the more we feel safe on the earth and I mean because in spirit in the spiritual realm you're already a hundred percent safe and perfect right so be careful about going into despair where you're giving up and losing hope you know if there's a lack of faith going on just know that it's it's temporary and that we do have these spiritual laws that hold the the existence of you know the cosmos are are based in love that is the natural mold of our existence so we need to remember that and sometimes we just forget so yeah, so any negativity, any lack of faith, any losing hope about yourself, any self-doubt, just know that it's temporary. And it's good to not let that hit the ground because it's not, it's not truth. You know, the truth is here, that you are whole, completely whole. <laughs> okay, that's all I have for today, you guys. Take good care. Bye.